Hey everybody, welcome to vlog number five. So today's vlog is about helping your neighbor. I've always believed in being a good neighbor and I always try and be a good neighbor because I have seen this on television countless times where neighbors are in battle with each other. I think the best security system you can ever possibly have is to know your neighbors. So my neighbor Jeff comes over to my house and he says, hey man, my 200 pound oven looks like it's about to fall in the cabinet and I'm having some electrical problems with it, blah blah blah, can you come over and help me? Long story short, I go over there and the house was freshly remodeled and the remodelers um, used a standard sort of cabinet configuration to support this huge oven and I think the cabinet was severely underrated for this 200 pound oven and sure enough when Jeff pulled the uh, oven forward it put all the weight on the front half of this shelf and it broke it snapped and he was able to hold it and, and then push the oven back so the back half of the shelf so if you can imagine the shelf was supported by basically four support screws uh, just not enough for a 200 pound oven so what we did was we went over there and my first idea was well let's shore this up let's resupport this shelf with some construction grade brackets so we uh, grabbed our screw gun some screws the support brackets and we went over and we went to work so helping my neighbor Jeff this this oven here was being supported by this uh, piece of wood here that had these little wimpy plastic things and it fell so we shored it up with these uh, wood brackets these construction brackets and hopefully now this 200 plus pound oven should not fall on anybody sweet it's my neighbor Jeff he had some drawer problems now we got it fixed yes thank you to Donnie I really appreciate that you uh, I've been thinking about how to solve the problem and since I had you here you were so much help to help me get that put back in correctly my pleasure my friend yes. we are here to help I really appreciate that all right you're welcome thank you thank you bye next segment mousetrap my girlfriend Patty apparently has a couple of uh, rogue mice that run around her house we discovered this a couple weeks ago when her dog Callie was going a little nuts in the middle of the night it was about three o'clock in the morning so we uh, did some investigating as to why the dog was going crazy and we figured out that there was a mouse in her bedroom so a couple days later her dog was going nuts again and sure enough I found a mouse another mouse during the day in her art room so I strategically place a piece of cheese in Patty's bedroom where her dog can't get to it and sure enough the next day the cheese is gone so clearly mice are visiting Patty's bedroom clearly something had to be done the problem is my hands were tied because my girlfriend she doesn't want me killing the mouse which is fine I'm I'm an animal friendly kinda of guy I have no need or want to kill any mice I just would like to catch them and release them so that's fine but the other variable is her dog Callie is like a severe chow hound that dog will do anything for food so anything I put out by way of bait for the mice will be eaten by Callie immediately so my engineering challenges are build a mouse trap that won't kill the mouse and set it up in such a way that the dog can't get to it. So phase two is to actually build a trap and to put it out. So great. So I get on the internet and I find a design for a mouse trap that looks pretty easy to build and I build it and I bait it and I'm not catching any mice with it. According to some YouTubers, peanut butter is the best bait. So I put some peanut butter in the trap and nothing. I have the trap out for a couple of days, doesn't seem to be getting any interest. So I think to myself, well, I'll put a piece of cheese just outside the trap just to make sure that the mice are still visiting. Well, sure enough, the mouse took the 
cheese that I put at the end of the trap, outside the trap. Twice now, the mice have taken the cheese from the outside of the trap, but they don't go in the trap for the peanut butter. So I'm thinking that maybe mice just don't like peanut butter that much. So I thought, well, you know, I'll use the old cliche piece of cheese, because they seem to like that. So what I do is I take a piece of cheese and I stick it on the outside of the trap, and then I stick another piece of cheese inside of the trap, and then I place the trap in a place where mice can get to it. Place the mouse trap behind this dresser drawer, right there. And then I build a barrier to keep the dog away from it. So I set up some wood and I created a shim. And there's the trap down there. So this should keep the dog out and allow the mice to get to the bait. So now I'm going to place the trap with the double cheese bait behind Patty's dresser. And hopefully that will work. We shall see. I will let you know.